Hello everyone, I am Rakhibul Hassan Khan, Assistant Professor of Assam Downtown University. Today I am going to discuss about contact lens verification and checking the parameter of contact lens. The contact lens once ordered should be verified before dispensing. Though the laboratories try to maintain standards, yet there are possibilities and errors which are due to the manufacturing. A faulty contact lens will not conform to the design especially order. Simple equipments that can be a part of the contact lens clinic can verify the parameters but some parameters need sophisticated equipments which can be done in the laboratories. Here when we are going to dispense a contact lens, in that time we should verify the parameter of contact lens though in laboratories they are maintained the standards. Maybe some errors are there which are due to manufacturing effect. Some verification we can do in our optical but some verification we can do in our optical. In that case, we can do it in our laboratories. The following parameters which need to be verified are number one, base curve of contact lens, number two, power of contact lens, number three, diameter of contact lens, number four, central thickness of contact lens, number five, surface quality of contact lens, number six, blend and ease shape of contact lens, and number seven, material of contact lens. Next, number one, base curve. Base curve of contact lens we will measure with these two instruments. Number one is radioscope and number two is keratometer. Radioscope. The radioscope is the most common used instrument in the laboratory to verify the base curve. It is based on Drysdale's principle. If an object is placed at the radius of curvature of the curved surface, the real image created by the instrument acts as an object and will form an image at the second focal point. The real image is formed at the first focal plan and the virtual image is formed at the second focal plan, both being the center of the curvature of the contact lens. Here for base curve verification we can use radioscope. The principle of these instruments is if we placed a object at the radius of curvature of curved surface, then create a real image by radioscope instrument and it will form an image at the second focal point. Next, the lens RGP in dry state shocked at least 24 hours before and the soft contact lens in wet cell with 0.9% saline is kept with concave side up on the lens mount. The first focal plan mats are focused the reading in set at 0 at this position the dial is further moved to focus the second set of mirrors, which is the second focal point. The distance between the two focal points measure the radius of curvature, which is read from the dial. In case of toric contact lens, the mirrors will have two set of lines perpendicular to each other, 
which will be focused separately. A wrapped contact lens will show to definite basica. Here for RGP contact lens basica verification, we will dry the contact lens at least 24 hours before and the soft contact lens will wet by 0.09% saline and concave side of contact lens should be up. Here first we will focus the plane mirrors and the reading set at 0 at this position. After that we will move the dial to focus the second set of mirrors and the distance between the two focal points is radius of curvature and we will take the reading from the dial of instruments. In case of toric contact lens, we will set the two lines perpendicular to each other which will be focused separately. This procedure is similar as in keratometer procedure. Next, keratometer. The keratometer can also be used to verify the base curve, but though not very accurate, the setup is modified with the contact lens holder and a mirror attachment. The lens is held with the help of this holder and the readings taken same way as the keratometer is used. Next, number 2 power verification. Here we are using photometer and lensometer. This one is lensometer and this one is photometer. This instrument is used exactly as for the spectacle lens. The contact lens is cleaned first and then centered concave side down on the photometer stop. Then read the values on the drum. The prism can also be measured the same way as in spectacle lenses. The lens power should be within plus minus 0.25 diopter of the power order. In case of toric contact lenses, two line focus will be obtained. The two principal meridians are noted and then transposed to read the spherical and the cylindrical values. Here, first we will clean the contact lens and we will put the center part of contact lens on the photometer and concave side of contact lens should be up and read the values on the drum of photometer or lensometer. This procedure is same as in spectacle lenses power measurement. In case of toric contact lens, we will check two principal meridians separately and then transport it. Next, diameter. The V short gog or the measuring loop can verify the diameter of the RGP contact lens. This is the diagram of V short gog. The lens is made to slide across the V slot 
and allowed to fall into the proper position by its own weight. Note the reading in millimeter corresponding on the scale while measuring ensure that the lens is dry. Take care not to exercise any force while inserting the contact lens into the gog. Then check in two meridians for roundness and the tolerance limit is plus minus 0 0.05 millimeter. The measuring magnifier the lens is held across the magnifier and the scale reading of the diameter are correspondingly read. This also serves the dual purpose of measuring the diameter and the width of the periphery and the optic zone. The soft contact lens analyzer or the projection devices in wet state can also measure the soft contact lens diameter. Here we will verify the diameter by V short gog instruments. Here we would dry the RGB contact lens first and remember we never force the contact lens while inserting the contact lens into the gog and we will take diameter from two meridians and after that we will take the reading of the diameter. For soft contact lens procedure is same but the difference is soft contact lens should be wet before measure the diameter. Next, number 4 central thickness. The thickness gog or the dial gog is the most useful device for measuring central thickness. The lens is placed convex side down on its base. A spring plunger tip is released until it touches the contact lenses. The thickness is read directly on the gog, ensure the zero error beforehand. Here, we will check first the dial is on the position at 0 or not. After that, we will place the convex side of contact lens and the spring plunger of instruments released until it touches the contact lens. After that, we will take the reading from the gog. Next, number 5, surface quality. Various types of projection devices available can measure the surface quality and the each profile. The projection analyzer can also be used to measure the optic zone diameter and the peripheral curves weight. The surface can also be inspected by use of slit lamp, use monochromatic light and inspect the contact lens. Here for surface quality, we will check it by slit lamp using monochromatic light. Monochromatic light means it is a optical radiation where the optical spectrum contains only a single optical frequency. Next, number 6, blend and each shape. The projection analyzer or the magnifying loop 
is used to examine the transition zones of the peripheral curves. It is most important for the comfort of the RGP contact lens. The faulty contact lens can create problems, so it is essential to inspect the lens each of an uncomfortable contact lens. The lens can be held with the help of holder and the image of the lens each can be created on the wall by holding the lens in the slit lamp illumination. As discussed earlier, the round each is the most comfortable one. Here, we will use magnifying loop for examining the each of contact lens. Here, we will hold the contact lens by holder. Then, the image of contact lens can be created on the wall by holding the contact lens in slit lamp illumination. After that, we will take the reading by scale. Next, number 7, material. All RGP materials look same but have a fixed specific gravity. The material can be verified by testing its specific gravity. Different solutions bottles with known specific gravity are needed. The lens is dipped in the bottles one by one. The specific gravity can be calculated if it floats or sinks in the known specific gravity. Here we will dip the contact lens one by one in different solution bottles and we will calculate the specific gravity of the material of contact lens. Thank you.